In this video, we look at being able to convert for each representation from decimal to binary for a given number of bits and from binary to decimal for a given number of bits. We've already looked at how to convert between decimal, binary and hex number bases in a previous video. In this video, we'll be focusing on the following four conversion methods. Decimal to binary fixed point, decimal to binary floating point, binary fixed point to decimal, and binary floating point to decimal. Now note that exam questions on floating point numbers will use a format in which both the mantissa and exponent are represented using two's complement. We also covered two's complement in a previous video. Let's start by considering how we convert from decimal to binary fixed point representation. We'll convert the decimal number 8.75 to its fixed point binary version. For this conversion, we'll use an 8 bit storage location for the answer. We will fix the binary point in the middle, allowing 4 bits for the whole part and 4 bits for the fractional. Remember, with this fixed point system, the column weightings multiply by 2 as we move left from the fixed binary point and divide by 2 as we move right. For a simple number like 8.75, all we need is a 1 in the 8 column, a 1 in the half column and a 1 in the quarter. 8 plus 0.5 plus 0.25 is 8.75. However, there's a more mathematical approach we can take that will work no matter how complicated the number is. This time let's convert the decimal number 8.63 to its fixed point binary version. We consider each part of the original number in turn the whole part and then the fractional part. So let's start with the whole part first, that's the 8. The approach here is to repeatedly divide the number by 2. With each division, look at the remainder, which will be either a 0 or a 1, and place it into the next available space, starting from the binary point and moving left. So 8 divided by 2 is 4 the remainder is 0. 4 divided by 2 is 2. The remainder is 0. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and the remainder is 0. 1 divided by 2 is 0 and the remainder is 1. Now let's consider the fractional part 0.63. The approach here is to repeatedly multiply the number by 2. With each multiplication, Look at the whole number part of the result, which will either be a 0 or a 1, and place it into the next available space, starting from the binary point and moving right. 0 0.63 times 2 is 1.26, and the whole part is a 1. 0 0.26 times 2 is 0 0.52, and the whole part is a 0. 0 0.52 times 2 is 1.04 and the whole part is a 1. 0 0.04 times 2 is 0 0.08 and the whole part is a 0. Now at this point we still have a fractional component of 0 0.08 however we've run out of storage locations. So what do we do now? Well we add up all the column weightings with a 1 in them and we have the following. 8 plus a half plus a 0.125 is 8.625. It's close to 8.63, but not exact. And what this shows us is that it's not possible to accurately store the decimal number 8.63 in a fixed point format where we only assign 4 bits to the fractional component. The closest we can get with this representation is 8.625. We'll look at the implications of this more closely in later videos. So, for decimal to binary point conversion, consider the whole number component first and repeatedly divide by 2. With each division, look at the remainder, which will be 0 or 1, and place it into the next available space, starting from the binary point and moving left. Then, consider the fractional number component next and repeatedly multiply it by 2. With each multiplication, look at the whole number part, which will either be 0 or 1, and place it in the next available space, starting from the binary point and moving right. 
Next, let's consider how we convert from decimal to binary floating point representation. This process builds on what we just learnt. We start by converting the number to 2's complement fixed point using only as many bits as required. While the binary point is not between the most significant bit and the next most significant bit, we shift the binary point left dividing by 2, and we increment the exponent by the number of places shifted. So let's convert the decimal number 3.75 to its floating point binary version. Using the previous method, 3.75 stored in fixed point binary form using only as many bits as required would be 011.11. Remember this note from the start of the video. Exam questions on floating point numbers will use a format in which both the mantissa and the exponent are represented using 2's complement. To turn this into a 2's complement number, we will make the most significant bit, the MSB, a negative weighting, here the minus 4 column on the far left. While the binary point is not between the most significant bit and the next most significant bit, we need to shift the binary point to the left, dividing by 2. Then increment the exponent by the number of places shifted, and we shifted two places. Remember, the exponent is also stored in 2's complement. This means the result will be 0 0.1111 for Mantissa and 0 010 for the exponent, using 5 bits for Mantissa and 3 for the exponent. Next, let's consider how we convert from binary floating point representation to decimal. Starting with a binary floating point version of this number, we follow the simple process shown here. Convert the exponent to decimal, move the binary point of the mantissa to the right if the exponent is positive, and move the binary point in the mantissa to the left if the exponent is negative. Let's convert the binary floating point number 0 0.1100101. We start by converting the exponent to decimal. 0, 0101 equals 5. And there was a 1 in the 4 column and a 1 in the 1 column. Now we move the binary point of the mantissa right if the exponent is positive and left if it's negative. As it's positive, we move the binary point 5 places to the right. We can now just read off the decimal number. So what we end up with is a 1 in the 16 column, a 1 in the 8 column, 0 is everywhere else, 16 plus 8 is 24. Finally, let's convert from binary fixed point representation to decimal. This is the easiest of the four conversion methods. So let's convert the fixed point binary number 0111.0110 to decimal. We write in the column weightings, making sure to multiply by 2 as we move left and divide by 2 as we move right from the binary point. Then we simply add up the values of any columns with a 1 in them. So we've got a 4, a 2, a 1, a 0.25 and a 0.125. So this number is 7.375. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. How do you convert from decimal to binary fixed point, decimal to binary floating point, binary fixed point to decimal, and binary floating point to decimal?